Trapped is a room escape game, meaning you have one goal, which is escape the room. You have one hour to do so. If you escape in under an hour, you have mastered the room and have won the game. If you have not yet escaped in an hour, I'll show you what you've missed and let you out. You will be locked in the room, but I will always be watching you via live feed in case anything goes wrong. What are you guys expecting out of this? I just want to have fun trying to escape the room. Yeah. Just a challenge. A challenge. Teamwork, so probably. Yeah. You can do it. This room's supposed to be about teamwork, so we'll get out. What do you guys predict you'll do it in? Do, do you think you'll get out? And if so, how fast? 45 minutes. God! <laughs> 45 minutes, because we have an hour, we can get it done in 45 minutes. So it's basically just a new form of entertainment that's really growing in popularity across the country. You can make a mess, um, move things, pick things up, uh, just generally do whatever you need to do in order to attempt your escape. Um, with the success rate of 42% for this room, uh, a couple of hints I would give you all. Just try to communicate with each other as much as possible and work together. So I first got the idea when I was backpacking through Europe. Um, I kept seeing these room escape games on the review websites and I was my interest was piqued so eventually I tried one and it ended up being the most fun thing I did on my entire trip. So after that I just um, started brainstorming what if I could start my own one of these and it led me here. Our current rooms are the laboratory and the haunted playroom. The laboratory is for bigger groups. It's kind of a World War II laboratory, uh, experimental laboratory. Our other room, the haunted playroom, which we're in now, is uh, kind of a creepier, um, more intimate experience. It's for smaller groups, and there's a lot of riddles, puzzle solving, and that type of thing. So that's what we have right now. So far, the reaction from Lubbock and the community has been excellent. I mean, everyone that comes in has a great time, and um, you know, it's, it's been overwhelmingly positive so far. Everyone seems to enjoy it, and it's just such a new, exciting concept that uh, it, it's hard not to have a good time. We're going to see where it goes from here, but for the future, um, I might want to try to add a new room or uh, definitely change the rooms that I have uh, within six months or a year so that I have a constant rotation of new games. Next Halloween, we might have a Halloween-themed room, kind of like a haunted house. So it's just going to keep changing, keep uh, rotating new rooms. The hardest part about creating the puzzles is starting out because when you first start a new room, it's like, where do I begin? Um, so usually I kind of try to start in the middle, start with a good solid core, and then work my way out from there. And um, if, if I find that it's too long or too difficult, I can kind of chop some things out. If it's too short, I'll just add some clues in. I generally work like that. It was, it was a, a blast. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. It's challenging. It's just, you don't really realize the time going by so fast. To contact us, just visit trappedlubbock.com or you can visit our Facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash trappedlubbock.